So this is how you would make an acrostic poem. I'm going to use my friend's name, and her name is Heidi. I've never filmed myself writing anything before. <laughs> this is really weird. So H, let's use different colors. What should we use next? So many colors to choose from. Um, how about green? Let's find green. H, E, oh my, this is so strange. I really, <laughs> this is coming out so funny because I'm looking through the camera instead of looking right at the paper. H, E, I, um, what other color? How about brown? H, E, I, D, um, um, let's see, how about purple? Somebody's doing work next door. H-E-I-D-I. My friend's name is Heidi. You can imagine if Heidi was your mother's name, how would you write an acrostic poem? Well, you think about your mommy. You think about how special and how wonderful she is and how much you love her. And what is her personality like? What makes her so special? Well, let's see. Heidi, I believe she's a pretty happy person. So I'm gonna write happy. But there are other words that start with H that you could use. And let's see, how about E? E, what wonderful, loving, sweet word could start with E? Um, oh, there's a plane going over. We're getting all kinds of noise around here while I'm making this card. Happy, H-E, what starts with E? Um, let's see. Well, sometimes it's hard to think of a word, a compliment word that starts with an E. Maybe you're thinking of one right now and you're wondering why I can't think of it, but I'm just not coming up with anything. So when that happens, I use it like this, ever, ever loving. That means she's always loving. That's how I do it when I can't think of just one word. I think of a phrase. Uh-oh, I'm running out of room on my card and I'm having a hard time holding the phone while I make this. I could fit a G in right there. Ever loving. Happy, ever loving. How about I? How about I love you? Oh boy, I need an extra hand to hold my paper still. I love you. Oh. Come on, paper, hold still. There we go. D. D, let's see. Mommy Heidi is, she is delightful. D, Y, delight, full. And you know what? If you're very small and you don't know how to spell everything just right, that's okay too. I made my U funny. Come on, you. Delightful. <laughs> and another I. I. Happy, ever loving, I love you, delightful. Um, what other good, happy, loving word starts with I? I. Um, can you think of one? Oh. I know. Wait, let me use a different color. What could we pick? Mm, yellow doesn't show up that well on white. How about blue? Or purple? In... Oh! That's a light purple. In... Credible. This is reminding me of Charlotte's Web. Incred... Uh, Okay, now my paper's scooting. <laughs> Where's my extra arm? Oh dear. 
Maybe I'll use my foot. I have to do something. There we go. <laughs> There's always a way. Incredible. There we go. There's our acrostic for Mommy Heidi. Happy, ever loving, I love you, delightful, incredible. That's Heidi. And then on the, oop, back here. On the inside, you can draw a picture. So I'm, I'm going to have a really hard time drawing with one hand, but I will try. I'll have to use my foot to hold it down. I'm going to make a heart. This is very awkward. <laughs> there we go. There's my heart. And I can write. Maybe I want a different color. Oh, don't go away, crayons. Come back here. No, no, no. Stay here. Stay. Oh, dear. Okay. I'm going to lose one. Ah! Oh, dear! <laughs> I'll have to go get it later. <laughs> okay, let's make our card. I'm going to say happy H A P Oh, I have to put this one down here. P Y I wonder if I'll have room to write all this. Let's find out. I'm going to put my crayons back in here so I don't lose any more. Happy. Do I want black? I don't know. What do you think? Should I use black or should I use... I kind of want colorful colors. Happy. M-O-T-H-E-R-S Happy Mother's, and there's supposed to be a little Mother's Day. This color could be fun. What is this color? Mahogany. I don't know. I think I want a different color. Indigo. Nah. Let's see what else? Orange. Orange is a happy color to me. Happy Mother's Day. And I want to put an expl explanation, <laughs> exclamation point there. My crayons keep going away. There. Happy Mother's Day with an exclamation point because that means I'm shouting it. I can make it fancy. Happy Mother's Day. I might even want to draw a picture of my mommy and me together. Let's see. I don't want my crayons to leave anymore. I'm going to have to keep them back in the box. Otherwise, they'll roll off. So, oh, almost lost another one. Let's see here. Hmm. So here's me. I'm actually thinking of my mommy right now. I really like blue, so I'm going to wear a blue dress. Huh. Usually I don't start with a dress. Usually I start with... I gave myself puff sleeves like Cinderella. To, oh boy, I look, I look like I need some hair. My hair is really darker than that, but that's okay. 
I can use a different color if I want to make it darker. And well, let's see. One eye, two eyes, and oh, come back. The wind is blowing. I like working outside. Let's see here. I think I'll have green shoes. And I need a mouth. Let's see. I think I'll be smiling. And a nose. <laughs> a little dot for a nose. And I need some... Let's see, I need a darker brown because my hair is really darker than that. There we go. And I need some eyebrows too. There's me. Now I need to draw my mommy. I think I'm going to need a hand. There we go. Now here's my mommy. She has, ah, she lives kind of far away. I haven't seen her in a while, but I know that she has red hair. Oh no, that's pink. <laughs> Whoops, things don't look the same through my phone. Okay, there, there's, that's okay. I don't think my mommy would mind having pink hair. And her hair is really cute. And then, that's funny, I started with the dress when I drew me in with my mommy. I'm starting with her hair. There's her neck. And then I'm going to have us holding hands. So I'm going to make our arms go together and I'm going to put a little circle here that shows us holding hands. Let's see what else. Oh. Well, she needs another arm for one thing. And I think I'm going to make her wearing a long dress. If you want to draw a long dress, you can make it like a triangle, kind of. But there's no right or wrong way to draw your mommy. I'm going to give her a ruffly collar. <laughs> Though I don't think she actually wears ruffly collars. I just like to draw ruffly collars. And here's a ruffly lacy sleeve and I'll give her some ruffles at the bottom and make it fancy. Kind of looks like a nightgown a little bit. Um, well that's okay. It's a pretty dress. I think I'll make it green. You know I loved it when my when my kids whenever my kids drew pictures of the two of us together that always just made me so happy. Mm. I love spending time with my kids, so if they draw us, draw me a picture of me with them together, that's the best. My mommy has blue eyes. One eye, two eyes, and then she has a big beautiful smile. <laughs> smiling really big. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay. And she has light skin like me. I guess I better color in my skin. I don't have to, but I think I will. And sometimes if you go over the other colors, it smears a little bit, but I don't think my mommy would mind. She wouldn't mind at all. See how much time it takes me to make a picture? This is my mommy's love when their kids make pictures for them because look how much love and how much time I'm putting into it. It's like you're putting a little bit of your life into what you make. Oops. There. And there's, there's me and my mommy. Um, I think it would be good to put a heart right here to show that we love each other.
because I wish we could go play outside together. Oh golly, that's a really, really fun color of green. Put some grass there because we're outside, because I love being outside. And lots of grass and maybe some flowers. You can make flowers all kinds of ways. You could put a circle and then go like that. There's a flower. Here's a flower. And here's a flower. And you could color them different colors. Like this one could be pink. And then this one here could be orange. Oops. You could even put faces on the flowers. And this one. Oh, that one's kind of too small to put a face on it. I think we need some stems for the flowers so they can grow. That's okay. That one's growing in the grass. This one has a stem that we can see. And maybe I'll make this flower yellow. I love the color yellow. It's so happy and bright. Ah, let's see here. How about a cloud? Because I think clouds are so pretty. They just make the sky look beautiful. And um, I can color the sky. Uh oh, paper's scooting everywhere again. And there's our blue sky. Wow, I really, really like the way this turned out. need faces. There! I love it. Hang on. I think I need to finish the grass. So this flower here doesn't have any grass. See, there's no right or wrong way to make a picture for your mommy. You don't have to worry about trying to make it perfect. It doesn't have to look fancy. The most important thing of all is that you made it and that you made it, you love your mommy and that by making her a picture, you're showing her how much you love her. That's what's most important. You can make it any way you want to. That's how I would make my card. And happy Mother's Day. And there you go. Oh my goodness, I remembered something really important. You need to put your name at the bottom. My name is Melissa, so I'm going to say love There we go. <laughs> there it is. And you can make a card for your mommy. Like this one or any way you want. This is just one idea out of billions and kajillions of ideas that you could come up with. <laughs>